Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has decided to update the Google Keyboard and rebrand it as Gboard. And for those of you that might remember, the Gboard actually came out for iOS back in May of this year. It's a little backwards. They took so long to come out with it for Android, but Gboard for Android is now here. I'm gonna go ahead and show it off, show off some features. Also post a download link in the description. If you do not seem to be getting the update in the Play Store, I'll post a download link down below. So here's a look at Gboard for Android, and there are a bunch of theme options from might look a little bit different for you. You'll notice this G is in that upper left hand corner that got added. But first let's jump into settings. First of all, there's themes, same as Google keyboard. You can change the color. You can add your own image, add a keyboard as well. So don't worry, you didn't lose that. Now also languages got an update. You can actually have up to three active languages at once quickly swap between those. So a very nice, much needed addition. Now also number row that has an option. You can disable it. You can enable it as well. Uh, you can show emoji switch key as well. And then also you can show emojis in the symbol keyboard. I'll show that off in just a second. Now going back, uh, they updated this to call it glide typing. So that just got a name update as well. Uh, and then of course with the search, you do not have to have the G button there. You can turn it off if you'd like to. So let's take a look at the keyboard itself and you'll notice that number row is there. Finally, Google has added an option for a number row. That is much needed. Really glad they added that. Now also emojis, they have emoji searches. So now if I wanna search, uh, let's say a key and you'll see a padlock comes up, a key comes up. That's just a quick little search for emojis. Finally, that's really nice. They have not added emoji prediction yet, so that's something that might come in the future, hopefully will. Uh, also, if I go to that symbols keyboard, you'll see up at the top, it gives some suggested emojis. Uh, and then of course, if you go to emojis, it's your most recently used ones. And then of course, GIF support, GIF support, whatever you wanna call it, um, that is there as well. And then your standard uh, text smileys are there. So let's test it out. Let's say for example, someone says, hey, do you wanna go to dinner? And you wanna come up with somewhere you would like to go so you can type, restaurants in Chicago, which is where I'm from. So you'll see restaurants in Chicago. We'll do a quick Google search of a bunch of various restaurants you can search for. If you actually do tap on one of them, it's going to continue to go through, give you more information on that specific one. You can also go back to restaurants in Chicago, late night restaurants, gives you some search suggestions as well. You can go to call directions and also quickly to the menu as well. And of course, any Google search you type in. So if I type in Santa, it's going to come up with just information about Santa. You can share or hit about Santa Claus. Now also, if you go ahead and try and type picture of Santa, it should also come up with pictures. And you'll see occasionally it does not. It's actually a little uh, buggy at times. It was working earlier, but I do wanna make note that the Gboard on iOS is still a little bit more refined. Now to show that off, I, this is uh, my iPhone 7 Plus. If I go ahead and tap the G, you'll see a little bit of a nice quick animation opening on up that's a little bit different. Um, I believe it might be a little bit different in Android 7.0, 7.1. Now, if I go ahead and type in picture of Santa, it will come up with images. However, you can quickly swap at the bottom between searches, images, and also GIF GIFs when you go ahead and just search at the bottom. And then you go back to ABC, which goes back to that keyboard. So a little bit more refined on iOS, but it is nice that this is now here on Android. So let's go ahead and try a couple more. Maybe you say whether this weekend and hit search it's going to go ahead and load up the weather so on friday now what about tomorrow which would be a thursday you'll see nine degrees in chicago on thursday so i'm going to try as much as possible to stay inside again you can swap between what about the weekend as well and you can share it so you'll see if i hit share it'll go ahead and just quickly load up a link and also uh, include all of that specific information that was on the search. So you can tap on it where they get uh, that information from, but also real quick lets you know. So let's say for example, I'm talking with my friend and I wanna say uh, time Chipotle closes and hit search. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna do a quick Google search and you'll see it gives me times, all of that good stuff. So I go ahead and tap on one of them and it should give me more information about this specific place Let's say, let's meet there, hit share. It'll give them a phone number, an address, a link to Google Maps as well. So very nice, a really nice added addition to that Google search. There's a bunch of various searches you can do, but figured I'd make a quick video showing off all the various features. And then if you click that G, you can quickly swap the theme. You can also go into one-handed mode to make it a little bit easier to use one-handed if you'd like to, and you can switch sides as well. So that's really about it. That would be the Gboard on Android. I'm sure it will get updated soon to get a little bit more refined, similar to iOS. 
uh, but a very nice added addition to the Google keyboard. So drop a comment, let me know what you think, try it out. I'll post down the links down below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.